All right, you guys, this is Caroline. I'm back with a new video. This is going to be another wig install on this beautiful lady. So let's just get started. All right, you guys, so the wig today that we are going to be using is provided by Hillberry or Hellberry. I will leave all the links in the description box for this company if I'm saying the name wrong, okay? But they sent me this wig, and this is the bag that the wig came in, and inside of the white bag came the wig, and it also came a stocking cap, which was 10, and it did come with an elastic band. All right, so this wig um, is a Brazilian body wave wig. It's a 360 wig, and you guys can see the hairline did come pre-plugged. The lace was a little bit tan, and the knots was a little bleach. Um, you can see that around the whole wig is um, a 360, and it has a little bit of baby hair going even in the back, okay? Um, inside of this wig comes four combs and two adjustable stripes in the back. And then it has the lace going all around it. All right, now this wig already did come pre-plugged, but when I put it on a mannequin, it did look a little bit too dense. Um, the, the plucking wasn't as much. So I did go in and I um, pluck it some more just to make sure that the hairline is really nice and thin so it looks um, a little more um, realistic and more natural in the front when I put it on her head. So I did customize this wig. Um, I did went in after, um, after plugging it. I cut the lace off all around it. Then I also went in with um, my foundation powder. I went in and I tent the lace with the foundation powder. Okay, just to make sure that the um, knots and the lace matches her skin tone. All right, so after customizing this wig, this is how it looks. The hairline looks a little bit more tint out. Um, the lace is tan um, to her skin tone. And now the wig is ready to be put on, okay? Starting off with my wig cap, I did want to hurt and use the tan cap that matches her skin tone. Then I'm taking my got to be glue um, gel and I'm... I'm going to be um, spraying it around her hairline just to keep the stockings in place. And then I'm going to go over that with the Got To Be Glue um, Freeze Spray. I'm going to spray it all over the hairline and then I'm going to put her underneath the dryer. All right, so I let her sit on the dryer for about 10 minutes and then the stockings completely dry. And then I went in here and cut off the edge girl stockings around the cap. And of course, after that, it was time to um, tint the stockings. So I just went in with a foundation that matches her skin tone and I went in here and tint the stockings. All right, so after tinting the stockings, the wig is ready to be put on. Um, I did ask her to assist me with putting the wig on because she asked me to add the elastic band to this wig just so that if she's 
whom later on, and she wanted to wear the wig all by herself without it being glued down, she would have the elastic band for extra security. So I did add the elastic band. So I tried on her hair just to make sure that the wig snuck her hair and make sure that the wig fits her hair. After that, it was time to glue the wig down. Now to glue the wig down, I did go in with a little bit of alcohol and wipe her hairline just to make sure I don't have any makeup on there. Now using my ghost bind glue, I used three layers of this glue. I put the first layer on, I let it air dry, put the second layer on, let it air dry, clear. And then I put the third layer on, let it um, dry, clear. And then I go in before I lay the wig down. Now, for this particular application, I did do it section by section. I did the top of, of her hair, the middle part of her forehead. I did do that part first. I stick the wig down before I went to the size of her ears, before I um, did the same layer with the ghost bond glue. I did three layers on each side, letting it air dry clear before I went in and stick the size down. And after laying the middle part down, then I went ahead and I repeat the same steps with the ghost bond glue and I lay the sides down. All right, so after laying the both sides of the wig down, you can see how natural and beautiful this wig looks without the baby hair, okay? It really looks nice. Even after I just tweeze it out, it looks really beautiful. But she wanted a little more baby hair, so that's exactly what I did. I just took out a little bit of the front hair and cut it off just to make it a little bit shorter. And I went in her and gave her some baby hair. Using my Nairobi Foaming Wrap, I just use it to slick down her baby hair. Um, and then I took my comb and I formed the baby hair. And then I took my Nairobi, my Senex script, and I wrapped the hairline with it. And then I put her under the dryer again for another 5 to 10 minutes to let her dry. So after I took her off the dryer, this is how the baby hair looks. I did take my small tooth comb and I comb out the baby hair just so that it looks natural in the front that is not hard and sticking on her forehead, okay? 
and this is how this wig looks okay this wig is actually really really pretty this is how the hairline looks with the baby hair and this wig is a 360 wig okay she did not want to pull it up um, all the way up and let it stay up she wanted me to style it and curl it but I just wanted to show you guys how the back looks once it's pulled up because it's a 360 wig so it does come with a comb in the back so I did tuck the comb in in the back of it and this is how natural it looks without me sticking it down it fits um, behind her hair really nicely um, I did not have to stick it down. Alright, so that was pretty much it. Um, she did ask me to curl and style this wig. She also wanted a side part. So I did give her a side part. I used my hot comb. I comb hot comb the top part of the frontal just to make sure that it's nice and flat i also used my curling wand just to make sure that the part is nice and open and then she wanted just big loose um curling wand curl so i used this curling wand and i just gave her some nice um waves just to make the wig pop a little more so i did went in here and i curled the entire wig Alright, so after curling the entire wig, I just went ahead with some wax stick and just um, laid down the little pieces that was sticking up just to make the top of it a little bit sleek and nice looking. Then I took my little comb and went over it just to make the top of it look really, really nice. After that, that was pretty much it. I just finger comb out the curls just to make the curls pop. And that was pretty much it. Thank you guys so much, so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye.